yeah i genuinely want to wear this outfit every day so don't mind me hi guys welcome back to another video i'm so excited for this one because in this video we are going to discuss manifesting an sp this is whether you know them already know them you have somebody in mind or if it's someone new that you're trying to manifest I am going to go through a step-by-step -step of what to do to manifest an SP. Willow was in the background. She has her business going, her hair tie business. Please do not mind her. She's, she's doing her own thing. Okay, let's get into it. I wanted to first off start by saying that you can be, do, or have anything. And if you've been watching any of my previous videos, I hope you know that by now. Um, if you're new here, hello. And yes, you can be, do, or have anything. Um, what I find very interesting about this topic is that um, there may be some limitations, uh, maybe some thoughts that are running through your head as to how to manifest or how something can come about. I am living proof that through the law of thought transmission that you most certainly can manifest sitting at your house and having someone knock on your door, having it be your SP. That has happened to me. So no, it does not take a lot of physical effort. Um, although it is nice, to have physical effort and taking action because we are human beings. We're on this earth to experience physical activity. Um, I just want to let you know though that you can manifest in any way, in any preference that you'd like, just as long as you are clear about what that preference is and providing clarity for yourself. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about in manifesting a specific person is that when you are creating this person, or let's say you already have somebody in mind that you're wanting to conform, it's not so much about getting the other person to conform to you. It is about changing your perception in your mind. And Neville Goddard has talked about this many times before about how to create the world outside of you so all of this external all of this externalness that we're experiencing right now pause for the robo kitty litter okay we're back the point is not to conform other people or to manipulate the outer world the entire point of this the entire point of even this channel is to show by example, to lead by example and to explain why once you change how you are feeling internally and the perception that you have of the world and how you are treated in the world, how that will automatically change the people and the circumstances around you. For example, I, through the law of thought transmission, law of assumption, law of attraction, whatever you want to call it. I was living in Vegas during the time and I really wanted to manifest an ex back. And during this time, I had conjured up different scenes, different affirmations that they were saying to me. I was telling them what to say in my head. And this one time I got to a point where I was like, I want this person to show up to my doorstep and to offer an apology and to offer a healthy relationship. And that's exactly what happened. And through a series of events that I could not even, I can't even, it's hard to make this up, but really what happened was the circumstance that unfolded was I thought about it. I kept replaying that conversation in my head. And one day, the person, the SP or specific person, that's what it stands for. My specific person was driving at the time and they were doing Uber Eats. They were doing Uber Eats and they had received an order to my apartment complex. And it wasn't even my food, it was somebody completely different. They received an order and at the time I was living in a very private community and this community was very gated, very secure. 
So they were inside of my apartment and they reached out to me and said, hey, you know, I'm on the basketball court and I'm just thinking of you. I wanted to reach out. Wearing the exact outfit, the exact outfit that I imagined and that I just decided that they were going to wear and they knocked on my door. I let them in and they said everything that I was imagining in my head. The conversation was, <laughs> I can't even make that up. Like how does that, there's so many places in Vegas and if you've ever done um, a service like Uber Eats or any of those type of delivery services, they take you all over the place. So very, very interesting how it all unfolded. I'm telling you this because there's going to be two parts to manifesting an SP. And although I'm currently dating somebody else right now who is really awesome, I wanted to kind of just use that as a testimony that you, you seriously, you can have any type of circumstance unfold. You just have to say it is so and keep that in your head and eventually it will externalize into the 3D. So the first part is becoming clear about exactly what you want. Do you want the relationship to be fun? Do you want it to be exciting, adventurous? Do you want it to be more chill? Do you want it to encompass all of the above? Become very clear with what the relationship looks like and you can even get down to what the person looks like. You can get down to how the person behaves towards others, what their personality attributes are like. Write that all down and get it very clear. If you are able to conjure up the idea of this person, how they act, how they, how they behave in life, how their mannerisms are, that means that version of them exists. And this goes both ways for somebody that is completely new that you haven't met yet and also somebody that you have met and you're wanting them to come form. You're basically becoming very clear on the treatment and the relationship that you have with that person. And I want to invite you to think about a time where you have had a relationship with someone and they make you feel a certain way. When you're around certain people, since everyone has a different way of operating in life, they will bring out a certain type of consciousness, a certain state of being with you, and that goes vice versa. For example, the relationship with your mom is very different than the relationship with your dad, very different than the relationship with your friends, and this is just how it works. Another thing that I wanted to say is if if there's any type of doubt or any type of worry that somebody can't be a better person or can't measure up to the idea that you have in your head, please know that they can. Please know. The litter robot is gonna go off again, hold on. The law of thought transmission clearly states that what you are having in your imagination, the thoughts that you have with other people, the affirmations that are going through your head, those are reflected out into the 3D. And you can clearly see this because if you think about yourself, think about yourself and how, how complex you are, how there are so many different ranges of emotions within yourself. There are many different versions of yourself. There's the good side to you, there's the not so good side to you, or you know, not even that it's bad, but there's different sides to you. And if you really think about that, then you start to have more compassion and you start to have more patience which in return allows that person to come towards you. I hope that this is making sense. So keeping that in mind, you have many different versions of a person that you can see, and it is up to you to decide that you bring out the best in people. You inspire people to be the best version of themselves. You have created a certain type of lifestyle within yourself, and this aura, this aura, this transmission that you have created, this thought transmission, this signal that you're presenting out into the world has to, by law, be reflected out. Now we're going into the second part, which is focusing in on the 
version of yourself that is calling in that person. If you have decided that you want your relationship to be fun, it is your responsibility. It is your, it is your fun duty. Okay. This is light. This is light. This is supposed to be fun. It is your duty to take on that state of being and eventually the person will swoop in. So if you view this specific person as very fun, charming, witty, find all of the parts, all of the qualities and characteristics within yourself that you love so much about the SP and give it to yourself. So what that would look like is waking up in the morning and saying the word fun over and over and over again and living your life in a very fun way. What can I do today that is very fun? What can I do today that is giving wifey? What is the, or whatever it may be, whatever that word is that really resonates with you, you're going to behave in such a way that it it distracts you from all the other worries and doubts that you might be feeling. I'm telling you by example, I am proof, living proof that it does work. And the law of thought transmission is a very real thing. It is working in your favor. Everything is working for you and it's always wanting to prove you correct. So yeah, I hope that this has been helpful. And I also have um, something else that I wanted to say because sometimes we can tend to micromanage something. Um, so I wanted to give two examples. Right behind you guys, uh, behind this camera is a piano. And I play the piano on and off. I'm, to be honest, I'm not very consistent with it. But something that I've noticed is it's a perfect example of how thought transmission works and how affirming and persisting works. If I am only playing the piano once a week or I'm only exercising that physical, that physical skill, then I can't expect to receive extreme results. That's just how it is. I can visualize in my mind, I can keep rehearsing it. And yes, that does change the way that I operate when I finally go to play the piano. But I, I really wanna make this point that me not touching a piano for a year and then coming back to it and practicing, there's going to be some type of um, catching up that I need to do or any type of practice. Like I'm going to need to practice that in order to feel more confident in it. And it's the same exact principle when you are using the law of thought transmission, when you're having conversations with people, when you're um, having somebody conform to the way that you want them to. It just takes practice. And you're not going to beat yourself up if you're playing the piano once a year and you, you're not you're not fluent or you're not able to read the music as quickly, it's okay. You're not beating yourself up about it because you know that eventually with practice, you will become at the same level or greater when you start putting in that consistency. The same exact thing applies. The same exact thing. You are going to say in your head, use the visual, just using your imagination and becoming aware of that conversation or whatever you're affirming in your head with practice and over time, not beating yourself up about it, it will conform. Another example that I have, and this is the last example for this video, is I want you to think about a corporate job, right? If anybody watching this has been in a nine to five or has taken on really any type of job, this will make a lot of sense to you. Micromanaging is probably the most least effective way to get things done as a leader, as a boss, always making sure that somebody is doing what they're supposed to be doing and always having that control, that manipulation it tends to backfire and we have a lot of evidence proving that it tends to backfire. So you have to ask yourself, are you a good boss? And what I mean by that is when you give this signal out to 
the universe, to God, to infinite intelligence. This is the part of letting go that we always talk about in um, the manifesting community. When you get to that point of letting go, are you letting the universe do its job? Are you constantly hovering over this said employee and saying, did you finish the work? Did you finish the work? So much to the point where they can't even get the job done because there's, there's just too much going on. There's too much, there's too much checkup, you know, there's too much checkup. Infinite intelligence always has your back. It is always working for you. And as long as you are clear about what you want, that is more than half of the battle, being clear about what you want and then being a good boss. Like I'm, I'm a wonderful boss of my, of my own reality because I'm not sweating it. I'm not sweating it and I don't need to worry about these things that I've put into place and the assignments that I've given to infinite intelligence because I know that everything is working out for me. I hope that this has been helpful. If you guys have any thoughts, um, let me know down below. Also, I'm so excited because I have now opened up athena369.com. It's a place where you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you would like to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. I'm giving you all the videos on YouTube for free. But if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one coaching, that is definitely available to you now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.